The square foot gardening technique is designed to use raised beds with as little as six inches. You divide the bed up into 12 inch squares and plant accordingly based upon the instructions on the plant. Let's take a look at the back of a seed packet and I'll tell you what we're talking about here. All right, so on many of your seed packets, you're gonna have spacing. Now, this is uh, for some oregano, and you can see right here, it says 12 to 18 inches apart. So in the square foot gardening method, this is only gonna be planted one per square. Now, you get into things like uh, lettuce and that sort of thing, where you're gonna space, you know, every couple inches, you're gonna be uh, allowed to do more per square. Now, there are plenty of resources online to help you plan out, but uh, I did a search and I found one at uh, gardeners.com. Now I'm not affiliated with these folks and they do sell stuff, but they have a real nice planner and it, it looks something a little bit like this and you're, you can do a custom plan and put it in. So this is, this is kind of the rough idea that I'm going with right now. It may change the next few days or not, but uh, in the back here I'm going to have a trellis. So I've got uh, cucumbers and three tomatoes that we're going to run up the trellis. Um, since this is my northern side, I'm going to put tall stuff over here a little bit in, and in the back. So I've got corn. And then I've got my peppers, which I'm actually gonna move this hot pepper over here so I can put the peas next to each other in case we need to, uh, in case we need to, uh, tr you know, trellis those up. They're supposed to be bunching, but I have a feeling that they're gonna start going everywhere. And then in the front, I'm gonna have my short plants, you know, onions and, and carrots and things like that that won't get too tall and shade out the ones in the back. So as you can see here though, this planter tells you exactly how many you need. So I can do two corn per, uh, square i can do 16 carrots per square nine onions per square and 16 lettuce per square so it's nice to uh, have that do that for you and so we're going to get going and start putting out the seeds okay so let's use our onions for an example now these are going to be the red onions that i got from a seed trade with my buddy now i'm allowed to do nine per square so i divide my square in like a little tic tac here and i have one two three four five six seven eight okay i'm skipping this one right here because i've got the post in the way not a big deal i could probably push it up a little bit closer but yeah i'm not really too worried about it and so i'll just drop my seeds into the uh into each hole and cover it up Okay, another example is corn. Corn is sown two per square, but they say to seed four. So I divide my square up into four, and I'll plant all four seeds. And once they get about, you know, inch and a half, two inches high, I'll go ahead and cut out two of them and leave the, the two healthiest ones that I have. I'm also planning on possibly planting some beans in here as a companion plant, and then I can use the, uh, the other squares for the beans to climb up the uh, corn. You can see here that we have our snow peas, eight per square, and I put three seeds in each hole. That way um, I guarantee you know, germination, and then if I end up with more than one plant in each hole, I'll just trim it back once they get uh, about an inch, inch and a half high. That way I get the healthiest plants, and I know that I'm gonna have plants in those. I've planted all the seeds that I have. I have a few pepper starts that I was gonna bring out, but it's a little chilly, and you know, they can wait a day or two. They're still growing on the inside. I'll need to pick up some carrot seeds, and I'll need to get the uh, tomato and uh, tomato um, green pepper, or red pepper, and uh, cucumber starts from the nursery, as well as put up my trellis. So we'll continue once I finish that. So we're planting out the tomatoes. We just picked them up. We've got two cherry tomatoes and then one Roma. And what we're doing, as you can see, my little partner here, we're just breaking up the, uh, the soil in the square and we're gonna create a trench. And the reason we're creating a trench is we wanna actually lay the tomato on its side. And tomatoes will grow roots from whatever's buried. So we're gonna take our snips and we'll take off these bottom leaves Okay, because we're going to trellis these, so we want a really good root system. And taking off leaves while well, doing the camera is hard. But then what we do is we're going to lay it in sideways, okay? And so the root pad will be over here, and then we'll run our stem 
and very gently we're going to lift this up and then we'll mound dirt behind it to support it and that way we'll get as much roots as we can because this soil is uh is pretty loose and so with these tall plants we want to do that on uh the plants that will allow the stem to root like tomatoes here it's important to uh cage things like uh, like peppers you know so i've got the uh, the two sweet peppers and the two uh hot peppers caged out with these tomato cages and if you have problems getting it uh, into the soil beneath your raised bed you may need to put a little point on there um, I had uh, one that was a little problem getting through the uh, the fabric that we put down as a uh, weed barrier and so I put a little point on there and went right through so in that way it's important to stake these or cage them when you plant them uh, that way you don't have to worry about messing up the roots and dealing with injuring the plant trying to put a cage on at a later date Now the uh, the cucumbers in the back here and the tomatoes are going to get a trellis going across the back We're going to put in a seven foot high trellis and uh, We're going to single stem these and raise them up, but we'll talk about that in a different video I do need to come back and add a little bit more soil here You can see to the cucumbers and what I'd like to do is try to make a little kind of depression a little donut around the plant and that way I can water directly into the plant and it will go right down into the roots of the plant that's another thing that Mel Bartholomew recommends is to create this sort of little donut shape around the plant and that you can just water it you know one or two cups of sun warmed water so put a five gallon bucket out put some water in it let it get warm by the Sun and then put it in there and that way you're not wasting water by watering the entire you know the entire soil where you don't necessarily need to water because you don't have plants there but it's a learning experience for me we'll see what works and uh, you know if it works for me I'll do it if not I'll do it another direction it's all about what works for you so anyway this is the garden it's completely planted out we're waiting on the seeds to sprout and um, you know we've got everything uh, put in so that's pretty much about it. Now, one thing I will point out is it's important to keep a log of this stuff. Um, this is really my first year planning and, you know, what better way to do it than create a spreadsheet and, uh, you know, put down the, the date that you planted it and write down what type it is, um, you know, what the maturity date is. Uh, you know, so if it's 75 days from the time that it, it, it sprouts or the time that you plant it, that way you can know when you should be expecting to get harvest and it's, useful to do that if you're trying to do some sort of succession planning and things like that so a spreadsheet will do you wonders excel is is awesome as always but i certainly appreciate you guys watching and if you have any questions or comments go ahead and post them below and until the next video uh, get out there and start growing some of your own vegetables <laughs>